Hi, my name is Robert de Bock. I work for Advenis, and this is a short demo on Rancher. Rancher is a tool to manage Kubernetes clusters, so make new ones, expand them, destroy them again. And I've just started Rancher and added cloud credentials for DigitalOcean and two templates for machines. That's it, so everything else is still blank. And I'd like to briefly go through how to set up of clusters and it's pretty simple and straightforward um, let's go add a cluster in this case on DigitalOcean and we need to give it a name uh, so I will call this demo one and um, oh sorry here demo one and we need a couple of nodes and a couple of types of nodes um, one or more for each CD and one or more for the control plane and a couple of workers. The workers is where the actual workload will run on. So the containers uh, at CD and control plane are required for Rancher itself. So let's give this at CD and control plane name. Uh, and this is, let's give it three machines at CD control plane, but not workers. What I'm going to do is keep the rancher work on these two machines and the workload on the workers. Um, so add a specific pool work, 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 dash. Well, in this case, let's start with uh, two, two machines, two workers. Um, I've already set up some templates, a smaller one and a bit of a bigger one. For Rancher itself, they don't need super many resources. Uh, workers, yeah, probably the bigger the better, uh, up to a logical maximum, of course. Uh, so etcd control plane, two gigs and a couple of CPUs. Workers, a bit bigger, especially memory uh, can be limiting. So that's about it. I gave it a name, I gave the different types of machines a name prefix and an amount select the template and clicked what to do with them and that's it you can choose more options but let's create this and what this will do it will start machines on in this case digital ocean but it could be also aws gcp azure um, and and even on premise and it will provision them that takes a while 10 15 minutes or so and then that cluster is done so can we add another one just to go through the process again? So you can also uh, register existing clusters. So if you already have a cluster now, you could manage that with Rancher. Uh, and as you can see, there's many cloud providers here. Also vSphere, interesting for on-premise. In this case, it's going to be DigitalOcean again. And uh, this is called Demo2. And here again, some prefixes of the machines. Demo2, etcd, and control plane. Three of them, etcd. Well, let's split this up in this case, actually. Not required at all. Just a fun little exercise. Three etcds. Demo control planes. Needs one or more let's take three two and finally worker demo minus demo minus worker and start with well three two so the three roles have been spread across different types of machines Ooh, sorry pencil at cd a little smaller control plane a little smaller but the workers well, let's try small ones here as well. Small one has a quite a big loss, eh? so two gigabytes of memory. Let's say half of it or so, so one or a bit under, is used for the machine, for the containers that need to run on them. So you'd lose about 50%, where a four, eight gigabyte container, you'd lose about 12% or so. So the bigger, the better ones. But the per demo, it's fine, it's good enough. Demo two, yeah. Uh, we can also select a different version. Well, newer is always better, of course. So I'm going to take the newest one. 
And you can set many, many more options here. But what is required, by the way, is that Rancher itself can be found from the machines that it spins up. So in this case, I've started a container running Rancher uh, on a publicly available machine called rancher.something with a FQDN. Uh, so that works. So let's see how far demo cluster one is doing. Ooh, visioning. It's waiting. We can look at the nodes here. So it's just fun to see that this updates every now and then. Hopefully everything will be there. Some have an IP already. Others don't yet. Fine. Go to the other one. A bit bigger. It has more, more nodes. And it's still provisioning. Some are active. I don't think they really are. They probably drop back to provisioning. Or yeah, there they are. See, provisioning. So uh, this is a bit of the annoying part. Take your time. 10, 15 minutes before this is ready. For now, let's uh, pause the video and get back to you a little later when they're done. So what's interesting here is that a machine failed. So of that demo two cluster, one control plane failed. I don't know, status 100. Doesn't really matter. This can happen. So machines can, some issue, I don't know, maybe temporary, who knows. Rancher will fix this. It will take a while because it needs to be sure that it's broken and we'll throw it away, create a new one. I guess we're going to get demo minus CP minus four or so, or maybe it decommissions this one and makes a new one. At least don't worry about it. Ranch will take care of it. Just give it time. Well, one cluster is ready. Demo one. It indeed took a bit over 15 minutes or so and Two is not ready. It even has some problems. Don't worry too much. Um, Rancher will figure it out. Uh, yeah, just give it some time. Probably if you come back here in a moment, it's all the warnings are gone. Should be good. Let's focus on demo one now. Demo one is uh, set up. ECD and control planes are running. Active. Not too busy. No, that's very healthy. And the uh, the advice from Rancher is also not to run any workload on these nodes, just Rancher stuff. And your workload should happen on these workers that are probably a bit bigger. Uh, yeah, they are a bit bigger. And imagine this is the state when you walk in on Monday morning, uh, then you could probably destroy a few uh, machines because nothing's running on them. Although this is sort of the minimum, three for etcd and control plane, and two for Kubernetes or the workload itself. Uh, likely one more of these workers. So let's add one. And this will take a moment. Again, eh? so again, this 15 minutes uh, round or so starts. Uh, let's have a look at the other cluster. Maybe it's a bit further in this case. No, so demo one has an issue now. Worker number three is not active. And on the other one, Worker four is not active. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, so it created one and two. It probably created three, which failed or so. Removed it again and it started worker number four. The failures happen, of course, it's uh, computing. Uh, so Rancher will take care of that. If it cannot reach the nodes or it's gone all of a sudden, Rancher will create new ones. In this case, it's just like the other cluster which we click the plus on. Yeah, this will take a while. This is one of the last steps where the node itself should come back to Rancher saying, I'm here, I'm gonna register to you. That's why Rancher itself should be resolvable. It doesn't have to be publicly on the internet, of course, but the nodes that it spins up should be resolvable, uh, should resolve the installation of Rancher. Yeah, so that's about it. So as you can see, it's simple to set up new uh, clusters. It does take a while, but it works flawlessly. And uh, you could manage many, many uh, Kubernetes installations with this. 
actually if you think about it so we are uh, a small company servicing other companies so in our case we could say well we'll create a cluster for each customer or so it could be on different regions on different cloud providers and we have one central dashboard to manage them all super simple um could also be in a bit of a bigger company that you have a cluster per team so if a team asks say i need some container hosting space then uh, yeah you could say okay what do you need uh, i'll build one for you click through it and uh, and wait a bit and hand it over so that's it hope uh, you've seen how rancher works and how simple it is too bad that there's three red uh, two red uh, icons there but uh, they'll probably resolve in a bit goodbye